Looking at the current status of mobility business in general, I can summarize it in from two angles. The first angle is the top line, which can be described by the demand, and the other angle is the bottom line, which can be described by the supply in terms of the network supply as well as the spectrum supply. From demand perspective, I can summarize it in four key points. Number one, MBB traffic is actually growing at a rate at a double digit rate annually. The second key point now is the ubiquity of MBB. Mobile broadband now is a basic need and it is required on a massive scale globally and nationwide. Now the third key point is about video. Video now is a fundamental services that energize the MBB in all of the aspects of our life. Even the way we work, even the way we socialize, we need video. Video is needed in terms of the volume. Video is needed in terms of the quality. We see the need even now for 2K, 4K, and even 360 degrees video. Last but not least, mobile network operators now are faced with other services different from the business to consumer services that they used to offer uh, in the previous years. Now, let's talk about the supply. The supply in terms of network resources and also in terms of spectrum resources. Now, beyond the shortage of the spectrum, which is the lifeblood for our, uh, for our industry, the spectrum now we see it fragmented. We see a lot of operators have a lot of spectrum resources fragmented into the high band and the low band. The last point I wanted to mention about network supply is represented by the coexistence of different generation of technologies. Now, we still see 2G, 3G, 4G, of course, and also 4.5G. Even the operators started to think about 5G. All of those technologies are there, provided or, or put a lot of pressure in terms of how the operators strategize their network and how they can adopt the right equipment right now that enable all of those future directions. In 2016, actually in Barcelona, Mobile World Congress in 2016, we released Giga Radio. Now, Giga Radio was built on the same concept of the previous innovation, which is distributed base station, as well as single RAN platform. However, it provided more a powerful platform that will enable the operators to enter the Giga world. Enter the Giga world in terms of gigabit per second speed, gigabit per second experience, and also gigabit per second everywhere. Giga Radio also provide the operators with the needed densification to support massive MBB demand. More importantly, Giga Radio will help the operator to evolve the technology even from 2G to 3G to 4G to 4.5G. Even they can, Giga Radio can put the operator at the starting entry point of 5G. During the first half of 2016, there are more than 30 networks that are either trialing or commercially deploying 4.5G networks powered by Giga Radio. This is about 60,000 Giga Radio units that are already shipped to support those networks. Actually, Huawei expects this number to double by the end of 2016. In summary, Giga Radio will empower the operator and it's satisfying their new requirements in order to conduct at the best mobility business in this giga era. And those requirements can be summarized in eight points. Number one, bigger capacity, better experience, faster evolution, higher integration, stronger platform, simpler deployment, easier operation. Well, more importantly, giga radio will empower them to support more business streams.